Hey everyone, False ID here. It's been a while, hasn't it? We'll be back with normal episodes soon. But before that, we have our panel from Anime Los Angeles, who flew all of us out there, put us up in a very nice hotel, and not only organized merchandise and meet and greets, but also a main event panel, which is the subject of this video. Thanks to them, as well as the VTubers who participated in the panel, including Persephone, Rikami, Cinder, Tob, Kage, and Numi. Please excuse some of the scuff. Many of us were not using our own hardware, and so we may sound and look a little bit different, including myself, who had the flu. And also a very big thank you to Clawmaster covering the event for the Kawa News Drop and providing audience footage. So please sit back, and we'll have more things VTubers say for you soon. Woo! Are we good to go? Yeah. All right, welcome everybody. Let's go ahead and start the show here. Just a moment. <laughs> Pop hey. over. Hey everybody, welcome. Woo. Things we can say live once again. This is uh, actually going to be something that is a bit strange to some of you as you may not seen VTubers regularly or may not know what a VTuber is, but that's okay. We have six, yes, that's right, six VTubers here today with us. And uh, actually what we're going to go ahead and start off with is uh, just a quick introduction of me. Hi, everybody. My name is False ID. I am the host of Things VTubers Say. Uh, we are generally seen as a news uh, source uh, regarding VTubers. And we were asked by Anime Los Angeles to host a little panel here, kind of talk a little bit about VTubers, what they think about anime, what they're enjoying about Los Angeles. We are actually here in Los Angeles with you, and we have a lot to talk about. Uh, let's go ahead and start off right away uh, by bringing on our very first guest here. It is Persephone. Hey, Persephone, how are you? Wow, how are you? Once again, there we go. Hi. All right. We should be able to see us both on screen. We're looking good. All right. Welcome to Los Angeles. How are you liking it? I'm loving it. It's it's wonderful here. I've been having a great time. What are you thinking of uh, anime Los Angeles? I I absolutely love it. Uh, I've spent most of my time in the dealer's room, mm -hmm. just admiring all the wonderful artwork in there. And so let's go ahead and just jump right into a little bit of you know, you, um, yes. how long have you been a VTuber, Persephone? Uh, I, it'll be my two year anniversary, actually, coming up in about a month and a half. Yeah. Woo! Oh, yeah. Two year VTuber anniversary. Any uh, special plans yet for that? Yes, though I always throw them together last minute, so I'll be <laughs> planning that when I get back. Uh, Usually a week before. <laughs> And uh, we, we have a few questions actually just for you. Oh? Uh, yeah, we do, we do. Uh, so firstly, uh, what does a necomancer do? What, what is a necomancer? A necromancer is a cat girl necromancer. So I'm a necromancer, but I'm also a cat girl. Uh, you know, just dabble in the dark arts, reanimate the dead, like to collect souls, that sort of thing. And on top of that, we also uh, have a little bit of a, a question on, you know, this character of yours, this, this, this VTuber, uh, self of yours. Mm -hmm. Um, how'd you come, come about with thinking up this character and creating it and finding the artist to bring it to life? Uh, I, I honestly kind of just like winged it. I just, um, I thought of the Necromancer. Well, uh, well, first I wanted to be a Tanuki originally. Uh, so I wanted to be a Tanuki, but then I just kind of came up with the Necromancer pun, and I was just like, that would be amazing to do that instead. So I just kind of, uh, <laughs> YOLO'd the whole idea, and then, um, the artist I actually found because I saw another design she did for another VTuber, and I hired her from there. Yeah, so I just kind of winked the whole process, honestly, everything. So let's get down to it. You know, uh, VTubing, it's still new for a lot of people, uh, not so much for us. 
Uh, we've been doing it for a little bit of time. Uh, what got you into it? What what like was appealing as being a VTuber to you? Um, I I used to watch uh, Kisuno Ai on YouTube, and I just uh, well I, I used to stream before that a little bit, a little bit of cam streaming, um, playing games like Daisy. So I had done that. So I already liked to stream, uh, though I didn't do it seriously. I just did it for fun, and then. I always thought it would be really cool just to be able to have your own anime persona after I had seen uh, Kisu no Ai and watched her. And so when it became a technology that was readily available for pretty much anybody to do it, I was like, I need to get back into streaming and I need to do this. And then of course we have uh, an anime convention that we're at here today. Uh, any, any particular anime that you're enjoying now or have been a big fan of? Yeah, I've been I've been watching Chainsaw Man. Chainsaw Man is great. Um, I haven't really watched anything else this season, though I've watched I've watched a lot of anime, a lot, a lot, a lot of anime. Um, it's hard to pick favorites. I, I guess like, <laughs> yeah, like some of my favorites, I guess, would be some of the classics. You know, like uh, Neon Genesis Evangelion. I like Cowboy Bebop, so, uh, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. A lot of a lot of names that you'd kind of expect. <laughs> All this boomer anime. Yeah, <laughs> honestly, <laughs> uh, Witch Hunter Robin. You know, like that's that's another older one. If you haven't seen them? Go check them out. They're good. I promise. And so, on top of all this, I mean, you know, being a VTuber has it changed anything in your life? Has it, you know, um, you know, you know, on top of the streaming, has it really like, uh, you know, brought about a way to express yourself? It, it really has. Um, I'm somebody that uh, deals with like a lot of anxiety, uh, especially socially. And uh, like I'm, I'm so nervous right now. <laughs> um, and, uh, you know, VTubing, especially with COVID, because I started VTubing like kind of right as COVID was going on. There was a little, I wasn't like going out or like seeing friends because, uh, you know, self-isolation everyone was isolating. So I wasn't going out and seeing everybody. And then I moved, so I moved away from all of my friends that I did have. And VTubing has just changed my life a lot because it's given me a platform where I've made a wonderful community that's been extremely supportive and wonderful. And I've made just a lot of like wonderful friends in the community that I would consider best friends. And I can see myself being friends with a lot of them for life and they're amazing people. And uh, you know, coming to Anime Los Angeles has given me the opportunity to meet one of those best friends and as well as make other new friends in the community as well. And it's given me the confidence to want to go and uh, meet my other VTuber friends in person as well now and go to more cons. Very nice, very nice. Yeah. On top of that, of course, you're a big horror game fan, right? I, I am. I love horror games. I'm not, I'm not very good at horror games, though, so... <laughs> Uh, if I watch other people play them, I am not scared, but if I play them, you'll most likely hear me screaming a lot really loudly. That's kind of what I'm known for. I'm known for screaming a lot, but I guess everybody loves watching me be terrified, so that's what I do. I play a lot of horror games. Do you have a favorite? Um, I would say some of my favorite horror game series would be Resident Evil, Silent Hill, Fatal Frame. I, re I really love the Resident Evil series, specifically some of the older games, um, like Resident Evil 2, Code Veronica. Do you... I'm looking forward to the Resident Evil 4 remake. Oh, yeah. that's really soon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's right. And um, also, I like Dead Space 2, and the Dead Space remake is also about to come out. Is there any particular horror game that you've been most scared by? Visage. I've... Uh... I have, there's three chapters in Visage, and I've only done Dolores' chapter. I'm, I'm kind of too scared to do the other chapters, but maybe I'll revisit that one. But <laughs> Lucy's chapter looks way too scary. So naturally, of course, uh, after yeah. this, uh, we have another uh, VTuber joining us, that being Rikami. You two have been friends for a little bit of time. Yeah, yeah. We've been friends uh, for about a year and a half now. This is not a question that we received. We just received, well, I guess it's a question. Uh, can you bully Kami for me? Thanks. <laughs> uh, 
Yes, absolutely. <laughs> I mean, like, bully him now or bull, bully <laughs> him, like, in general? Any, anytime. Anytime's fine. Oh, yeah, anytime's absolutely. Fine. I already do that anyways. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So that, that covers a lot of our nice questions that we had um, from the audience and uh, folks stopping by the uh, Casa Create booth. Uh, on top of that, though, we still have a lot of other uh, nice messages that we had from you. Uh, one reading, uh, that fact that anyone considers me their comfort streamer makes me feel warm and fuzzy inside since the biggest thing I want for my community is for people to have a comfy, safe place to come hang out no matter what is going on in life. So it, it sounds like there's two things going on. There's you know comfort streaming, but also uh, horror games. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it is. It is um, a strange dynamic because, um, you know, even though a lot of my streams consist of chaos and, and loudness and me screaming, uh, a lot of my viewers say that it's very comforting and that they they enjoy it and it's just really relaxing for them. So, I mean, I guess watching people be terrified out of their mind is relaxing for some people. You know, we all we all have our thing. On top on top of that, of course, um, yeah. we had the Donothon. Right? We, like, we did, yes. How long was that? Uh, it was about 17 days total. Oh, wow. But I think that I, I think I took like one or two like rest days for my voice because um, my voice was getting a little bit raw there. Could you just give an, uh, the audience a quick idea what a donathon is? Like a donathon is pretty much we make a bunch of goals, uh, monetary goals. You know, hey, if we reach $100, uh, like you, you guys can like make a tweet for me or I'll do this. I'll. I'll do a spicy noodle challenge. So we make a list of goals. <laughs> um, our viewers will come to the stream and every donation uh, will go towards the goals as well as add time to a timer. So for me, every donation of five, $5 added pretty much, well, so it's pretty much like a dollar per minute. Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah, so we went for a long, long time. I think I started though with eight hours on the clock. So oh, I, and then it yeah, went to so, 17 days. Yeah, and then it went to 17 <laughs> days. It was crazy. I didn't think that it would go more than maybe 24 to 48 hours. Uh, on top of that, of course, yeah. uh, you know, if we're, we're checking up on you, lots and lots of cooked dishes. Do you, do you enjoy cooking? Is that uh, a bit of a passion of yours? Yeah, I, I absolutely love cooking. I love baking. I actually uh, made peanut butter cookies. That I brought to the convention, which of course, uh, you know, like you get to try the peanut butter cookie that I baked. Yes. So yeah. I, yeah. I, I, I just, I'm always looking online at recipes, and every time I see recipes or food TikToks, I'm just like, okay, this looks so good. I got to try this. And I pretty much immediately go out and buy all the stuff and try to cook it. I, I just love cooking and baking. Oh, uh, we, ha we have this here. My mom thinks OnlyFans is called my fans only page. Uh, <laughs> Do, I mean, do, do your uh, um, parental units know of your VTubing? Uh, they do, but they don't really understand it at all. I actually, right before the con, um, it, it's kind of funny because I guess that she was asking, my grandmother was asking what I'd do and my uncle too, and I never would give them my, my Twitch. <laughs> and so they were like, what is she doing on there that she doesn't want us to see? So I ended up... Uh, relenting and sending my grandmother some clips and she has said nothing <laughs> i think she's I, I mean i didn't get to talk to her yet but i i'm really interested to to talk to her and find out what she thought of them because she hasn't let me know yet but i feel like she was just probably very confused so 2022 is behind us 2023 is ahead of us any plans for 2023 anything you'd like to accomplish for the year uh, yeah, there's, there's a lot that I want to work on and improve with my stream. Um, I want to put more effort into making TikToks. I want to put more effort into YouTube. I want to possibly try streaming on multiple platforms. I'm looking at um, getting a 2.0 model, uh, new outfits, um, a um, like a cat model, like a chibi kitty version of me. There's, there's a lot of things that I'm planning for this year. It's going to be a very, very busy year. Yeah. So for those maybe you'll know uh, when we say 2.0s, that is an entire redesign of ourselves. It is a totally new look and uh, it, it takes a lot of effort, a lot of planning ahead of time. Uh, we have these big debut events where we uh, show them off and again, get into a, a really, really 
Um, big splash. It's a bit of a celebration when it happens. Can't wait to see more of that. Um, any, 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 you know, hints as to uh, maybe what we could expect from a 2.0? Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of looking. Well, originally it was supposed to be just a new outfit design, but um, it's kind of turned into at this point. It's going to be an alternate form. Uh, oh. So, yeah, I, it was actually a, you saw this like kind of sneak peek of the artwork, but it's so it's that, but with like um, cat ears and you know like a tail still, and um, I'm gonna have uh, ghostly flames in my ears. So I still want to be a necromancer, but it's gonna be like a kind of ghost cat form. It's it's really really gorgeous looking. I've I've shown some people and it's. So, I mean, still white hair as well. Just there's like some visual changes, but it's kind of like an elevated alternate version of me, I guess you could say. So it's going to be really exciting. I have a new model artist picked out. I got a rigger picked out. I'm pretty much um, the model artist is already ready to work with me. I just need to finalize a few things. But since I was going to the con, I didn't have time to do that. So we'll be doing that when I get back and the model will be getting worked on right away. Nice. Yeah. Uh, anything else you'd like to say uh, to Los Angeles? It was really wonderful being here. I really, I really loved Los Angeles. It was a bit rainy the first few days, but it's it's a beautiful city. The food here is amazing. Everybody has been absolutely wonderful and kind. Just just everybody I met has been really friendly. I spent a lot of time in Ubers, friendliest Uber drivers <laughs> I've ever met. It's true. <laughs> I, yeah, I would I would honestly love to come back to LA. I would love to. I love it here. Uh, it's, really, it's really beautiful. Everyone has been wildly, wildly nice. It's kind of off, off-putting. It's like, wait a second, why, why is everyone so nice out here? Really? Um, <laughs> it's, it's just, it just felt so great to, to come out here and have this experience and, and meet everybody and to come to the con and to get to meet people in person, and whether they knew who I was or not, people coming to the booth. And just thank you for having me. It's been wonderful here. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Persephone. Uh, if you could go ahead and wrangle back Rikami for us, Absolutely. that would be very, very helpful. Thank you. Goodbye, everybody. Uh, <laughs> All right. Let's go ahead and see if we can go ahead and get Rikami in here in just a moment. Once again, we have six VTubers in all. It's an absolute... Um, non-stop, one after another carousel. Never done this before. So we'll see if we can go ahead and get in uh, Kami here in just a moment. <laughs> howdy, howdy. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> Hi. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We good, we good? No. Yeah, I'm hearing you. I'm hearing you. I can, I can turn you up a little bit. There we go. <laughs> What's going on? What's going on? You are you are all up on my screen here. I'm gonna go ahead and get you a you little hate, little you adjustment. Can hold my hand. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Kami, it's been what? Well, it's been like a it's been about a month since we uh, had you on as a guest on our own show, right? Uh, yeah, it's been a while. You know, you uh, went through uh, a couple things of mine, so I'm guessing this isn't gonna be the most wholesome and, and, and non-exposing <laughs> of my life. <laughs> uh, no. Uh, all right. So let's get into it. Uh, let's, let, okay. Uh, but seriously, though, um, uh, Kami, Kami, actually, how long have you been a VTuber? Uh, I'm coming up on probably one and a half years. So to be fair, pretty new to this entire thing still. I don't know. I feel normal. I don't know. I think over a year starts to get you into vet territory still, honestly. Vet. I'm yeah, yeah. Let's go. Old okay. man Rikami. <laughs> I'm an old man now. <laughs> uh, so oh, could, could you talk a little bit about your design here? What are we looking at here for you? Oh, man. It's just plain edgy. Uh, <laughs> I wanted to go. <laughs> I was like, you know what? At the time, not many people had fur coats. Uh, I wanted a, a really nice crown to go with the ego. That was kind of the point, you know, character with like a very cocky personality. Uh, so the tattoo on my neck is kanji for uh, God. Uh, and overall, the scars on my eyes represent the traumatic experience I had as a child in my lore. Besides that, yeah, basically just a person that took over without being of royal blood. 
Did it take time to find your artists and, you know, someone to bring it to life? Oh, man. So, uh, it starts off with a person named Alia. I found her on Fiverr. Um, oh. It's a place that a lot of people are like, ah, oh, you know, it's like a lot of bad art. Um, but over time, my first model was made, and then I think this was a re-debut for my first year. Um, this model was uh, created by the same person, and they really improved by a lot, actually. And then, of course, uh, we have... It's it's actually funny. Um, you have the most questions than anyone else. You have like twice as many questions from uh, those that were visiting the Caso Create uh, really? booth than anyone else. Yeah, yeah, oh, so yeah, yeah. Flip, yeah. By the way, no, no, you look great. You look great. Yeah. Oh, okay. So uh, obviously you're a musician. Uh, you have a you have a bit of a presence there on Spotify. Um, yeah. What is inspiring your music? What inspires you the most was a question that we received. Uh, I think most of all, lore and, and the way I act. Uh, I think um, a lot of a lot of online presence requires confidence, and sometimes you don't really feel it enough. But I think over time, I kind of grew into this character with having an ego, and some of the music's just to feel like you're on top of the world. Like how a lot of my songs are on... Uh, God complex playlists on Spotify. <laughs> so uh, it's just like a good feel good feel on top of the world uh, You make a change type thing uh, it inspires me just to like Make it so people feel just as good as I do I guess <laughs> uh, Is there any significance to the rings you're wearing? Uh, yeah, they're my birthstone. I was uh, born on January 7th and this is garnet. It's not Ruby. <laughs> I don't know. How, the question is just how are you so tall? Like, <laughs> that's just how it works out, people. I don't. Uh, it's not a know, big I'll decision. Tell you, I'll tell you something. Uh, I don't know because I, I I believe that my IRL height is uh, the same as my character is six four. Yeah. Um, but the only person in my family that was ever able to reach higher than that was probably, um, like a great grandpa of mine that was like seven foot tall at some point. Whoa, <laughs> okay, all right. Yeah. Do you have any, like, favorite genres of music or anything like that? Uh, I like psychedelic and melancholy music. I, I like to, like, look for, like, very edgy songs. Like, my, one of my favorite artists is Suburban, uh, which is a really good musical artist that kind of inspires my music, too, in a sense. I, I love him so much. All right, and we also have uh, some... <laughs> I don't know if they understood this when they were asking. It says, can you bully me? Do it. You won't. Well, they don't understand. I'm going to be asking that. And the <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't need bullying today, Rikami, but I appreciate that. Um, you know, I, I did, I did notice yesterday was a big day for you. Yeah. Uh, it was your, your birthday. As a matter of fact, a giant piece of cake is sitting right next to me. I thank you very much for that. Um, yeah. it was your balloon day. Um, did you ha do anything fun? Uh, honestly, I think you just went for Korean barbecue. It was really good. Oh man, I'm already missing it. And then like I ended up sleeping around 4 a.m. So I'm running off of like three to four hours right now. So it's like, hello, hi. <laughs> yeah, they gave us this morning slot, and it's like they don't understand we're VTubers. We're we're almost all night owls, but that's okay. It's okay. Uh, and then of course we have uh, Los Angeles. Have you been enjoying the actual city itself? Ooh, I have a story that happened like really, really uh, recent. So I was uh, in an Uber and I saw a car go over a wall and then a car behind what? started speeding up and chase chasing them. And it was like an action movie. Mm -hmm. It was scary. And then <laughs> our Uber driver went on like a tangent about how dangerous uh, the highways are. And I was like, cool, got it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, great. It makes me feel at home, you know, especially away from my own. <laughs> uh, so how about Anime Los Angeles? Have you been enjoying the convention? Uh, all you artists are f***ing talented. You guys are all beautiful people. Trust me, you are. Um, genuinely, I think um, a lot of you guys are really social. And the fact that I'm able to hug some people and, and, and talk and everyone's just like a little weird, you know, like in a good weird. Everyone's allowed to be themselves. And um, it's a good place. I like being here. Everyone's so excited and energetic. So... Let's see here. We also have, uh, is there any 
anybody you'd like to collab with? So the big thing with VTubers is, you know, we oh, um, we we hang out, but we also, uh, you know, stream together and anything like that. Is there anybody in particular that you'd like to collab with? Um, I man, I, there's a lot of people I thought I would be able to do so, and I don't know how to approach it, but I think maybe in the future I, I'd want to. Uh, this is a, it's a pretty basic answer, but they're pretty amazing because I'm also Latino. Uh, Iron Mouse. I, I, I think she's doing great for herself. Woo. Yeah, Iron Mouse's birthday is coming up on the 11th. That's going to be a bit of a splash. And... Uh, speaking of splashes, of course, uh, we have you uh, here with some merch here, uh, of course, at the convention. But uh, I think we're looking at a different model here for you right now, right? This is... Uh, oh. This is uh this is this is your 2.0 model is that right? Yeah, it's um it's quite the model, you know, for those who have a distinct taste. Um uh, I actually have a lot more coming than just that outfits. I have like new hair toggles, I have a an animation on the model. Um I have a new eye toggle. I can't really expose what that is yet until like <laughs> uh, close to debut, but you know, it's going to be a really big outfit change and I I actually really love it. Oh, man. It's going to change uh, people's views about me, too. I think you also had a recent 3D model, right? Oh, yeah. Uh, I had a subathon, really, uh, with a 3D model, and I imported it into VR chat, which is a way for me to like actually just talk to fans and explore worlds with it, uh, rather than just have it on stream. It's been pretty nice. I found this artist that was relatively really cheap. Uh, because they were just starting out uh, doing commissions, and I was like, okay, uh, could you make my model now? Uh, it started around when I debuted this model, yeah, but they they replicated it pretty well. It was kind of scary. I was like, oh, you did better than I thought, and, um, you know, I, mean, I like people who blow past my expectations. So. so, of course, you and Persephone have been friends for a little bit of time, right? Um, it, yeah. Is there... Uh... Uh, you know, and I think you also get some artwork together from time to time. Is that right? Yes. The uh, whole setup with artwork and VTubers is like almost a <laughs> like a sacred thing at this point where uh, whatever extra cash it feels like, we just blow it on artwork of each other at this point. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I, could, I could tell. Some people are like, they'll see an art of you with someone and they'll be like, oh man, what's the story behind it, huh? But what, what is there? It's called friendship. <laughs> All right, let's get into the controversial pieces here. Um, oh. You have said in the past, I have to say this, pizza is overrated. <laughs> it is. Okay, look, I have some reasoning. I know some of you might be shaking your heads. Uh, but when you are broke, I, I lived off of Caesar's Pizza. And I also ate Domino's and every other company, so don't be saying, well... This place has good pizza. You just haven't tried. I've tried oven baked. I've tried actual Italian pizza. And let me tell you something. It gets boring really, really fast. <laughs> I'd say like, if you want to enjoy pizza, have it like once every blue moon and it's going to be the most amazing thing. But pizza, pizza can, can be better. There's better things. Uh, we also uh, have seen you use a fork on cereal, Rakami. What's that about? Oh, I do that to piss people off. <laughs> All right, well, at least we have him admitting it. <laughs> of course, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I can't with this guy. Um, let's see here. Uh, I also love this one other message you sent out. It was just straight up. I need artists who draw hot men. Let me give you my money. Uh, yeah. Oh, man. It's a little it's bit of... It's so hard to find art. Yeah. Just a draw hot men. <laughs> And then all the bots went to my DMs. They were like, I'm graphic designer. I can help with hot men. Oh. Like, they have automated messages depending on your tweet. Of course. Uh, and some of them look really bad. Um, oh, man. But uh, I adore artists so much. So if they can draw me and make me look like a pretty boy, I think I am in love with you. You know? Mm -hmm. Other thing being is uh, you have a community, of course, and it sounds like you've been very, very, very appreciative of the community. Uh, do they have a name? Oh, yeah. Uh, my fan names are called My Obsessions, and for those who don't know anime terms, uh, my character is based off of a certain stereotype called a yandere, which if I were to do these toggles, you'll understand why. Uh, and since my fans are my obsessions, I basically just do that. 
because I am obsessed, and there you are. <laughs> so, uh, once again, uh, we have you out there on Spotify, but uh, is there anywhere else that we can find you? Uh, oh, man. Okay. Let's see. <laughs> you can find me on uh, Twitch. That's where I usually stream. I also have TikTok. I have two YouTube channels. Um, a certain type of ASMR. And then, of course, my normal VTuber channel with my music and random funny clips of me screaming my head off during a horror <laughs> game. Uh, and lastly, is there anything you'd like to say to Los Angeles? Keep on pushing forward. Just because you have so many things that can go against you or so many things that in your life is stopping you from doing something doesn't mean you have to stop. The only person that really stops you is you and just push through it because anyone could do anything and... I think that's just plain simple. I would not believe where I am, especially if you told me two years ago if I was going to be a content creator who was actually, like, making a mark. So, yeah, keep on pushing forward. You got this. All right, Kami, it's been real. Thank you so much for uh, stopping on in. Uh, if you could head on out and uh, tell Cinder uh, she's welcome to join us anytime. That would be much appreciated. Thank you so much. folks and our next guest coming up is a bit of a, a hot one uh, she is uh, very much on fire most of the time and it's Cinder welcome 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 Thank uh, you. I hope everyone can hear you just fine yeah you're uh, yep you're on fire you're looking good okay <laughs> yes, I'm always in heat <laughs> All right, so let's let's get into it. Uh, hey, Sunder, you know this is a great question for you. How long have you been a VTuber? Oh goodness! Actually, on Christmas Day, it was my six-month debut anniversary. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I was streaming as a little PNG uh, on and off before that, but it wasn't anything really seriously. But now I'm full time, and everything's been happening really fast for me. But it's all so exciting, and I'm so thankful. So uh, being a full-time VTuber, I mean, has that gone as planned? Has that been um, unexpected? Has there been any challenges to that? It's very unexpected. I did spend a lot of time, almost two years, trying to get ready for my debut. So I was hoping that it would pay off after so long of waiting. And it did, even more so than I expected. And I feel like with any kind of content creation, it's always really difficult to balance everything because <laughs> you always just want to go 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 and make content sometimes you forget to take time for yourself so that's also really important yeah your debut stream was like the moment and uh, <laughs> I, I, I mean we talked about that but it was like you know you nail the debut stream and it really can Thank work you. out um, so let's go ahead and talk about your design here what are we looking at what, what why are you on what fire <laughs> why are you on you fire tell me. <laughs> <laughs> So I am Cinder, the Hellhound VTuber. So I've got a lot of fire on me, in my eyes, in my heart, other places. <laughs> my design was made by the wonderful Hiana Natsu, and then the actual model art was by Nanalis, and they both did a really, really good job with the design and the model. So I'm very happy with it. Uh, very impressive people to be working with. And then, of course, <laughs> uh, we have... Uh, some other kind of looks, you know, we, we don't have to pull them out here, but I know you just had a chibi design. Is that right? Yes. Yeah. It makes you look like a little sh and I love it. Oh, <laughs> um, I mean, uh, <laughs> a gremlin. It makes yeah. <laughs> it makes you look like a gremlin. We'll never be invited back to Anime Los <laughs> Angeles. <laughs> actually, uh, that's a great question. I mean, you know, again, we are actually all here. This is what... Kind of what makes it different we probably sound a little different uh, we probably look a little different but because we're using totally different hardware setups because we're actually here yeah. folks we're actually at we're the here. convention um we saw some of you guys yesterday yeah you <laughs> you had uh, a virtual meet and greet and then the day after you had like an irl in person uh yeah. meet and greet uh, what was they were both so much fun what was going on with the irl meet and greet i was cosplaying a little bit I was cosplaying as one of my favorite characters, Amaterasu from Okami, and uh, I figured it was fitting because she's a wolf too. <laughs> and then, uh, of course, on top of all that, uh, once again, that is at the uh, Casa Crate booth uh, with a little bit of hmm. uh, actual merch there. But let's see here. You know, it's an anime convention. Do you have any favorite anime? 
Oh, yes. Um, a little obscure. Not a lot of people know of it. It's called Black Rock Shooter. The original one only has eight episodes. I think it's like 10 years old. This is it's so weird a while ago. And they just had a reboot that I have yet to watch because I've been so busy. So I'm really, really excited to watch that. It's about cute anime girls with big giant weapons and they fight each other. And on top of, uh, you know, anime, have you been enjoying the convention itself? Have you gotten around a little bit? Oh, yes. I've been shopping every day and I keep buying more and more stuff. <laughs> I was talking about this yesterday that I actually have to pick up another suitcase to take everything. Oh, home. wow. OK, OK. <laughs> They're mostly really big plushies because I have no self-control and I want to buy them as soon as I see them. <laughs> uh, how about Los Angeles, the city? Any uh, impressions? Oh, yeah. It's really pretty. There's uh, lots of pretty uh, palm trees. I don't have those where I'm from in hell. Uh, there's no trees, actually. <laughs> <laughs> so they're, they're really nice to see. And um, I'm already hot, so I don't really like hot weather because it's a little too much for me. So the fact that it's been cooler is really, really nice. And the food around here is super good. We've been eating real good this trip. So I've been really, really happy. It's so nice here. Of course, uh, you do uh, have your cosplay that you performed yesterday, but it sounds like you've cosplayed a little bit in the past too, right? I have. I was cosplaying for about 10 years, and I would compete in cosplay competitions. And I was bumped up to the highest level, like the professional master level in craftsmanship in contests so it's always a lot of pressure for me to compete but i've got a little trophy shelf going and there's some ribbons so it's been really rewarding and i have a lot of fun with it i'm just looking at some of the questions submitted from the uh actual folks that visited the booth here uh ah. are you always on fire yes i am always who is the council what's the council <laughs> so um a bit, about, uh, a bit of information about me is that I used to guard the gates of hell as a full-blown wolf hellhound. And I tried befriending the souls of the damned and uh, the big overlord of hell didn't like that. So I was kicked out, transformed into this half-human, half-hellhound monstrosity and banished to the mortal realm. So uh, every once in a while, the hellhound council shows up to my bedroom through the window <laughs> they like to peek <laughs> and uh they tell me about how disappointed they are that i am actually living a very happy life here in the mortal realm and they are keeping a close eye on me to make sure that uh i don't do anything wrong and i don't say anything uh to see i'm trying to use family friendly <laughs> yeah it's, it's tough for everyone here uh, another question that we received was what happens when you get angry when I get really, really upset, uh, my fire gets extra hot. And when fire gets hot, it turns blue! <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> That's right, folks. We have Cinder in both the orange flames and blue flames. Uh, awesome, awesome, awesome effect. We love it. Thank uh, you. Uh, we also had this last question. What are some of your favorite bands? Man, oh, I love Whoa. music! <laughs> So, I have a really awesome background track that was made by Daryl Barnes, and she's freaking awesome. Oh, yeah. I, I was inspired by a band called Nightwish, and they are symphonic metal. So, it's kind of like uh, there's orchestral elements and choir in the background, and I think that's kind of fitting for me in my design. But I also like heavier stuff, like Avenged Sevenfold and Disturbed. And I like System of a Down, too. Oh, cool. I was actually singing System of a Down when we were doing karaoke the other night. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it was yeah. so much fun. Yeah, uh, again, a lot of IRL shenanigans going on. Uh, <laughs> both Numi, who's coming up here, and Cinder uh, got into a lot of that together. Uh-huh. You guys will hear a lot of stories on our stream soon. Oh, we have so much to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right. So the big story, I think, for you, Cinder, was your journey to becoming a Twitch partner. Oh, boy. Yeah. Um, it really seemed like it took a million billion years. I don't know. What, what was your impression from the the whole uh, experience very disappointed i actually contacted them and complained 
then after that, I reapplied and they let me in. So maybe that worked. I don't know. Maybe I just uh, fulfilled their request. But um, to fill you guys in, I was applying for partner. I had submitted my application. But at the time, they were taking about a month to two months to get back to the streamers. And between the time I applied and heard back from them, I was actually hosting Twitch's VTuber Takeover Fall Guys tournament. I was one of the hosts alongside Takahata. And I got an email back about my application that said, because I was on the front page and doing all this crazy stuff, um, my growth was inconsistent, so I had to wait for that to become consistent when I had already meet, met these requirements, even before the, uh, the big tournament stream. So it was super disappointing, and there was a feedback survey <laughs> about, like, how the, the front page went for you and your community, and I was like, <laughs> it was awful! It sucked! <laughs> yeah, so... I was just honest. Again, ju just so that's clear for the audience, uh, Twitch would not let cinder become a partner because they featured her on the front page and said ah oh, well that's that will throw off your numbers literally she was actually one of the hosts of a main event for them uh just the craziest thing we we had to make a big deal about that when it happened of course but uh, uh it's been a long journey though i mean it isn't just uh this past year um i think your design sheet started back in 2020 2020, yeah, that's when I started working with uh, Hayana on my design. Uh, any any delays that happened since then, or was it? Uh... Unfortunately, yes, it did take about a year and a half to get my debut up and running. It was mostly the model. Uh, I had a lot of other commissions fall through, and I had to look for somebody willing to do fire, <laughs> which is very very uh... difficult to do. This model actually has 12 frames of animation, so it's individually hand-drawn frames of animation on me. Incredible. And my ears and tail and shoes. So Nano really worked hard. It's all on the artist. Neka did a great job rigging it, but all the frames were hand-drawn, and that was all Nano. And it's not just been other characters you've cosplayed. You've also cosplayed a certain other VTuber. I sure have for <laughs> Halloween. It was kind of last minute because originally I wasn't going to dress up for Halloween. I know as a cosplayer, that's such a weird concept. You figured they'd be all like super excited for Halloween. But I threw together a new me cosplay at the last minute and I posted it on Twitter and she was freaking out about it. It was so cute. And uh, I went to a Halloween party and nobody knew who I was. <laughs> so I just said I was an e-girl. <laughs> close enough, close enough. Yeah. <laughs> uh, on top of that, of course, we have Clippers. I think uh, you've had a big thanks out to Clippers. I mean, any impression yes. or anything you'd like to say about Clippers? Thank you, Cooksey. <laughs> so for those who maybe don't know, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, for those maybe that don't know, uh, Clippers are a huge part of why VTubers are um, yeah. getting as big as they are because we have a lot of dedicated folks. Uh, just in the streams, watching the streams, and then taking, you know, really big moments from those and putting them on, like, a YouTube or maybe a else play, uh, you know, other places. Yeah, just sharing around streamers, their streams, their content is huge, and it helps us grow and reach more more viewers and a whole other set of audience that maybe because when i first started i wasn't able to upload on youtube because i didn't have time <laughs> to find an editor or edit them myself so early on uh clippers were amazing with uh, how explosive the growth was right at the start because of them i'm where i am now so i'm very very thankful we also have uh some other anime here uh you'd seen the One Piece film Red. Yes, I love <laughs> One Piece. I know a lot of people are kind of turned off from it or intimidated because it's so long, but I like to say it's been airing this long for a reason. And that reason is because it's so good. <laughs> I also really like pirates. So ah. It's totally up my alley. You said uh, all my favorite boys were there, uh, except yeah. one. Except yeah. one. I, w I was <laughs> drooling. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot I tweeted that! <laughs> Another revealing thing, we, we don't think about this. Uh, VTubers and taxes. You talked about oh, you had a tax yeah. meeting. How, do, how did your tax meeting go, if I may ask? I have to know. It's funny because the uh, last year, I spent a lot of money preparing my debut, and I wasn't really making that much. <laughs> 
so my tax guy was like, are you sure you want to be doing this? And I said, yes. And my tax guy is a very serious, stoic person. Like when he jokes around, <laughs> you can't really tell because he's just like straight faced. But like the last time I saw him this past year, he was all smiles and he's like, wow, you're doing pretty good, aren't you? <laughs> It was such a 180, his reaction to like what I've been doing and how, how much it's grown and been successful. So he's really cool. He knows nothing about like this space. So he asks mm -hmm. me a lot of questions about it and I'm trying to be as vague as possible. <laughs> but he's still like, uh, I don't know. But as long as you're doing good for yourself. All right. And uh, it looks like 2023 might be the year you start making music. Is that maybe in the plans? Yes. I'm very much inspired by all my friends. Numi, Bao, Tricky, Amelie, everyone. They're so talented and it's really, really cool to see them make music. And I've had a lot of people ask me about it. Uh, <laughs> a lot of my viewers really, really want a karaoke stream. Unfortunately, I got sick uh, when I had planned it. Mm -hmm. So I have to reschedule it, which will be soon. Hopefully when I get back home after the convention, so that'll be soon. So uh, I'll give you guys a little taste of what's to come, I suppose. And uh, lastly, anything you'd like to say to Los Angeles? Thank you, LA. You're amazing. <laughs> I'd love to come back someday. Awesome. All right. Well, it's been a trip, Cinder. Thank you, as always. Uh, if you could head on in and let yes. uh, let Todd Hi, know. Everybody. Hell yeah. Let's go get Todd. All right, folks, that's right. We have Tob coming up. Uh, once again, a big, big, big inspiration for a lot of folks. And again, uh, we are very much looking forward to talking with her and seeing what's on her mind today uh, with not only just anime Los Angeles, but anything. <laughs> hey, everybody. Look who it is, the person who didn't get announced. I, I know, I heard some of you guys in the chat. I have spies in the chat. No, no, I'm here. They just forgot to announce my name. Hey, everybody, what's up? Hi. I mean, oh, sorry. Hey, I'm doing, I'm doing better. I'm doing better, Tom. No, that's good. Good to hear. Wow, look, there's so many people out there. I can see all of you. We actually can not see you. Around. We look, actually. and they're trying to sit down. <laughs> look, look, they're walking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, look at it. Yeah, yeah, they're walking. Okay, I shouldn't call something out. Yeah, well, how, how are you doing today? Wow, we're out here on the big screen. You know, I never thought I'd be on anything larger than uh, three monitors, but here we are. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get into it for you, Tob. Uh, we uh, are understanding you're a skunk VTuber, is that correct? Yeah, yeah, before I just thought I was like a ghost at some point, because, you know, no announcement, but no, yeah, yeah, no, I'm a skunk, I am a skunk, man. Believe it or not, I get called cat, I get called a, dude, sometimes someone can call me, what was it, a taper, a tape, you know, and I'm like, I'm like, excuse me, the obscurity of the animals, a zebra, I hear it all, but no, believe it or not, I'm a skunk, but I promise I don't smell, well, sometimes. I, it I can easily. attest for that. Uh, I'll back that up. I'll back that On up. On a good day. Look, man, <laughs> if you knew, um, see, with skunks, if they're a stink sack, it oh, what the fuck? <laughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> I was sneezing. <laughs> Anyways, so did you know with skunks, um, if they're in the wild, they only have about two years. Domesticated, remove your stink sack, like, you get ten years. People don't know that. That's and sometimes it's... Sometimes they tell me I'm not a real skunk because it's gone. Bro, I'm just trying to blend in with society, all right? Society, okay? Anyways. I was going to ask what is the most uh, challenging thing as a VTuber, but that sounds like it. That sounds like oh. the... <laughs> challenging thing. <laughs> the most Let challenging thing. Well, challenging thing. I mean, that, that that's all in a challenge on his own, and that's just a <laughs> self-identity crisis. But, I mean, hey, man, the most toughest thing? Woo! I, you know, I don't know. Nothing is tough per se. Um, I mean, just staying motivated and wanting to work harder has been like the easiest thing. But um, I don't know. I, I don't think I have much hardships. Mm, 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 mm. I just I try to just go with the flow with everything. Let's, and I'm just you know happy for where I'm at. Let's talk about uh, Anime Los Angeles. Have you been enjoying the convention? Oh yeah. <laughs> yes, I have. And. Um, <laughs> 
you know, yeah, cons are dangerous. There's all kinds of things you can buy. <laughs> and, you know, <sighs> much, but I've been kind of a figure fiend. I will most definitely say I've been all up in it, scouting every booth, trying to find the good stuff, you know? Oh, it has been great so far. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, on top of that, uh, you know, are you an anime watcher? Do you have any favorite anime? Yeah, yeah, I am. I'm an anime watcher. Um, I like more of the older stuff. I don't, I try to keep up with the newer stuff, but I'm just, maybe I just like nostalgia more, but like my favorite, I love Higurashi. Lucky Star. Oh, I found so much good stuff. I found this, like, Satania figure, this Gabriel dropout figurine of this one boot. Oh my god, I freaked out when I saw it. Because I was like, what the heck? Like, I don't know. I like a bunch of older stuff. Uh, like Slice of Life, Moe stuff, and all that. I don't know. You know, Tob, I think you would be an amazing streamer anyway. But why a VTuber? Why? Why? What made you, like, jump on to being a VTuber. Did you see any other VTubers that inspired you or what happened there? Uh, yeah, well, you know, back then, I loved Kizuna Ai and Kaguya, I always have issues pronouncing your name. I think it's like the G, Kaguya Luna, mm -hmm, excuse mm -hmm. me. Yep, you got uh, it. I started watching them early on and I was just like, whoa, I was enamored with it. I was like, this is so awesome. Cause you know, I think always when you're younger, well for me, wanted to make content, but I'm just like, I just don't want to be, you know, <sighs> I wanted to be seen, but not to be seen in which the way you think it is, mm -hmm. which is why, you know, VTubing is just, it just hits that sweet spot. I feel like, you know, you kind of have that create like that uh, freedom to kind of like do whatever, say whatever, act however, pursue a character. And, you know, you don't have to have eyes on you or people like watching you and staring at you. I mean, in a sense, people are, you know, like, look at me, you're seeing me. <laughs> yes. But you know what I mean in that aspect. I don't know. It's, uh, it makes me confident to act however and say whatever and portray whatever this is. We have, a, we have some wonderful questions from those that were visiting the booth. I understand maybe half of them. Uh, let's go ahead. Uh, when, <clears throat> the first question was, uh, when are you going to eat that Big Mac? Look, man, I always tell everybody <laughs> it's on a hot plate. It's at a specific temperature. And people are like, <laughs> It's not good. It's spoiled. Hey, man, it's McDonald's, all right? We've seen those YouTube videos. That big... They have all the food, like, the nuggets, the fries, the Big Mac, and it's been there for God, God dang knows how long. And it's just... It looks fine. It's like, you know, when you see those fake food displays, and you're like, oh, wow. But you can tell it's fake, but it looks fine, but it also looks like you could only maybe eat it. That's just basically what the McDonald's food is like. It's on a hot plate. I'm going to eat it when it feels right. Don't ever do things when they don't feel right, everybody. Take your time. Uh, we have this. <laughs> we have this question here. Who is Batsard Cat? Oh, Batsard Cat. Well, you see, I feel like, you know, it, at first he it, it, it was just a funny image. It was just really funny. I just, you know, I saw it one day and I laughed uncontrollably. And now, you know, he has some sentience and um. I don't know, you know, it's just, it's like the, 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 the crazy part of me, you know? It's ah. Just like, uh, yeah, 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 he's just his, his own, his own guy, his own thing. He does his own things, he says his own things. I have no control of that man. He's just, um, right now he's, uh, vacationing once again in the Bahamas. He likes to go there a lot, mostly often just to lay low, um, you know, because, um, as wild as he is, <laughs> he usually is up to no good. And that proceeds to a lot of trouble. You know, as VTubers, as streamers, as content creators, we're always looking mm. for the next sponsor. But you have a very, yeah. a very particular sponsor that you've been aiming for for a little while. Yes. Uh, leading to this question, why hasn't Four Logo sponsored you yet? You know, I don't know. Yeah, I feel like on other platforms, I'm not expanded as much. Twitch is kind of like, you know, my main squeeze. Um, but you know, I'm making my rounds out there, and while I'm saying it won't happen, it maybe could, but I also, I don't know, who's to say? I would like to say, expect the unexpected, and anything is possible, and we'll see. Alright, we have this question. This is not me asking Tom, okay? Just, okay. alright. 
right, all right, all right. Are you sure you're a skunk? Hey, man. <laughs> Say, dude, I'm not playing the plane. Won't you ever ask that? Yes. God, how many times? It's like I gotta have like you know a name tag, but it's like comedically large, and it's like tall, but underneath skunk. <laughs> you know. I mean, I I was gonna ask this question. This is the last of the the submitted questions. Um, okay. but I was I was gonna ask it myself. So let's go ahead and talk about your ban on Twitch. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> we, we've had a lot of uh, wonderful, wonderful bands here. <laughs> uh, how would you like to describe the events? It was a social experiment. <laughs> okay, all right. Uh, yeah, it was a social experiment. <laughs> I showed something peculiar can't really say what it is best behavior you know what they say um and you see um you know i showed it for about maybe like 12 seconds before my stream ended and i just wanted to see how long it would take i went i went to bed i slept for like 12 hours i woke up <laughs> i was not banned and i was like okay well i was expecting it to happen while i was asleep because, you know, the most offense, most things happen, you know, when you're asleep, right? But you see, uh, you see, what had happened afterwards was that uh, as soon as I decided to go live and say that I was going live, I uh, ended up getting banned, yeah. Uh, so you uh, you had something on screen for a little bit of time just as a social experiment. Just uh, as a social experiment. Uh, but, uh, it was three day suspension, but it was, uh, cut down a little bit there. It sounds like for you. Yeah. Well, you know, they let you submit appeals and I was just like, okay. So I typed, I typed something and I was like, I'm so foolish. I'm so sorry. It won't happen again. I realized that I have done something wrong and I was a fool. It was very, it was very dramatized. <laughs> I just, you know, I typed what the part felt and yeah, it went from three days to a day. Uh, I don't know how that happened, <laughs> but it kind of goes to show how Twitch is kind of really weird with how they ban people for like things for, for like no reason. Well, if I if I went into a top stream, what would I see? What what what's going on on a, on a top stream? Um. Well, you see, lots of things do happen on my streams, but a majority of the people that come in, they ask, you know, what is this? What did I just walk into? I mean, to be fair, I'd say expect the unexpected. There's lots of gameplay, but you know, as for every other uh, Twitch streamer, you know, gameplay is just a common occurrence. But you know, sometimes you get a little creative and I do special streams or special things, like, you know, hand cam streams. Uh, expect something different every day. We also, of course, uh, had you on a very hyped stream, that of course being Nyaner's longest deliver. Uh, uh, could you talk about that? Yeah. yeah, dude, I, okay, that was really cool. I remember I got an email and like the Twitch Rivals person, I was put on the priority list, which was really cool of Nyan to do. And I was like, bro, what the... I was like, what the frick? And um, I don't know, it was fun. I was really nervous. Um, me and Fillion, we were teaming up, but uh, you know, things went wrong. Placed, I think, ninth? I placed ninth. It was a good time, it was a fun time. I should have gotten voted out in the beginning, but then again, Ross messed up, and that was probably, to me, the funniest, the funniest thing that happened in that event. On top of that, of course, we had another major stream for you. We had a 3D debut. Yeah, 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 I did, I did. It was really cool. Um, it was wonderful. But I see you in a lot in VR. What's cool about VR? Why do you like VR? I don't, I don't know. It's really fun, I think, because, like, on top of just, like, you know, because, I mean, with Live 2D, it's such limited movement. 3D is really cool because I feel like there's more expression. Especially with like VR chat, I feel like, I don't know, on top of like, you know, like the verbal spoken comedy, I feel like there's a physical element too, which makes it kind of fun, like a lot more fun. So we had uh, this message from you uh, l uh, just uh, a few weeks ago, not too long ago. So happy to have started streaming and be so grateful for the friends I made along the way. 2022 has been a wonderful year. It has. Any plans yeah. for 2023? What's coming up for top? Um, you know, I, I don't know. Um, I always take every day, you know, I, I always follow by this. I expect the unexpected. I'm just gonna 
keep being persistent with what I'm doing and streaming and you know just see where I end up because 2022 was absolutely blew my expectations out of the park did not expect to have the year that I've had and I'm thankful for the success and the experience and I just hope to have another good year just keep doing the same thing that I'm doing you know uh, lastly anything you'd like to say to Los Angeles um hi Los Angeles I'm Tob I know I wasn't introduced but I really am Tob <laughs> uh, believe it or not I am here and um you know, I was going to yell really loud into the mic, but I don't have it in me. So just pretend that I am. Ah! <laughs> and thank you. Wow. <laughs> well, yeah, that was fun. Uh, I'm absolutely stunned. Like, yeah, of course. You better not. Or else I'm always watching, always listening. Uh, Tom, thank you so much. Uh, if you could head on in and let kage know he's he's up to bat i'd much appreciate that thank you so much yeah you got it bro thanks for having me on thank you thank you and goodbye everybody <laughs> all right uh once again that was skunk vtuber top and uh we do have our next guest coming up here uh this is uh formerly uh captain kage no, i'm just kage hello hey welcome 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 Hi. all right and uh, we have... Uh, you, wow, it's feels... Yeah, it's been a month. It's been a month since you and I talked, right? Yeah, it's been so long. Oh, I, my goodness. Oh, my God. Your your voice sounds amazing here. Oh, <laughs> I'm, really? I'm, I'm, not, I'm really super jealous. Okay. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's, let's, let's jump right into it for you, sir. Um, what are you? What, 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 are, what, what are we looking at here? What kind of VTuber are you? Uh, well, I'm gonna introduce myself. My name is Kage. I am a Fox Boy Ninja VTuber. Yes, so you can just call me the knockoff Naruto character. Sure, sure. No, I would never do that. I would never do that. <laughs> uh, I mean, what's, what actually did inspire you, though, to go with this design? Uh, this particular design? Mm. Um, I'm, like, a big fan of, like... Well, not, like, a really big fan, but I really like Assassin's Creed. Mm -hmm. And... And like ninja stuff as well and so that's how i got this like design made so wow. it's it's anime los angeles uh you know we, we mentioned naruto but do you have any favorite anime i do actually yes besides naruto i would say my number one is kogias i love Ooh, hell yeah. 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 Oh, my God. Oh, my God. that's a lot dude <laughs> yeah <laughs> i like the, i like the whole chest thing you know like it's so great and then, of course, on top of that, we have you uh, here in Los Angeles. What are you thinking of uh, Anime Los Angeles, the convention? It's great. This is actually my first time going to an anime con, so this is like an eye-opener for me. That was so mind-blowing when you said that. I was like, yeah. <laughs> I can't believe you've been a VTuber, <laughs> and you hadn't been to an anime convention. I was like, he's lying, There's right? Start. There's always a start, and I start now. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. I could not believe it. But uh, you, you've been to Los Angeles before, though, it sounds like. Right? I did, yes. And the last time I went to Los Angeles, I got COVID. So, uh, thankfully, uh, not happening now. Uh, no, nope. I hope not. Because <laughs> it happened at the end of my trip, too. So That's for, that's for the better. That's for the better, then. Mm -hmm. All right, so you're a VTuber. I mean, has this changed things for you? I mean, you know, has it changed your life? Or, you know, uh, we, we talked about this even yesterday when we were talking, but you'd been streaming uh, with Facecam for a little bit of time, and then you became a VTuber. What was the inspiration? Uh, well, uh, um, I would say, I think it was the Iron Mouse clip with the uh, Hutiki Takati. Mm -hmm. And it was just randomly on my, like, recommended on YouTube. And I'm like, what is this? This is so cool. So I clicked on it and I'm like, wait, you could be an anime character and like stream with that. Like you don't have to stream with your face and you don't have to worry about like what you look like and your room and all that stuff, you know? Like, so yeah, that's pretty much what inspired me. And I'm like, ah, let's try it out, you know? So uh, we also uh, noticed you've been on hiatus a little bit and traveling a lot. What you been busy with, man? Um, just like IRL issues and uh, yeah, just vacation and just taking a little break. But I'll be coming back. Uh, one of the questions asked was, you know, uh, where's the food been the best? Where's the food been the best? Yeah, when, with all these travels you've been underway oh. here. But you've been around to a lot of places yeah. in your life. 
Oh, I eat anything. I'm not <laughs> a guy that would eat anything. I'm not very picky. So uh, it's just anywhere that has good food. And there's mm -hmm. like a lot of good food places here too. And oh, it was amazing. The yeah. Barbecue was amazing here too. It's just been one night after the next. Restaurants, restaurants, yeah, restaurants, yeah. restaurants. It's I been wild. I just go with the flow. I, I just go with the flow. Uh, so we have your your model here. Any updates? Uh, are you planning maybe even a, a 3D model at any time? That was one of the other questions that was being asked. Yes, my 3D model just finished a few days ago. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. So I get to do like VR stuff. So it's gonna be great. Um, but I, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm looking forward to getting you into VR chat more here. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so we have all that, and that that covered uh, some of the questions here. But the uh, other this, this is a this is something that got brought up. What is the weirdest thing that you've come across as a VTuber? Anything weird? Weird? Any anything strange? <laughs> the lewd. <laughs> Wait, can I say that? Yeah, I guess we can. I I I, I uh, would assume it's the audience. Stay so far. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I got used to it, so I'm I'm pretty much a part of that too. Have you been a part of any of it yourself? Have you noticed, like... Um... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you could say that, yeah. Maybe planned, maybe not planned. Maybe. I mean... Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, all right. So we, we had that. Um, on top of all that information, of course, we have... Uh, you saying some interesting things out there. Uh, I don't know if I should... I don't know if I should mention this, but... Uh huh. Playful choking is kind of hmm. <laughs> What's that about? Uh, um, well, uh, oh god. I did not know that we would go through the posts. Oh no. Uh, oh, playful. I don't know. I was just like, nah. I just randomly started like touching my neck and then I squeezed it and I'm like, wait, <laughs> dude, it's kind of, wait, this is, this is interesting. Did I just like unlock something that I've like had in me this whole time? Like probably, yes. Uh, yeah. And I'm, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, that that's what happened, and yeah, that nice. I tweeted it out. Very nice. Um, so what kind of games are you playing, man? Uh, I do a lot of variety, but I mostly play horror games because my fans slash viewers really love to see me get scared. Yeah. I scream a lot. Well, what? What's up with that? Because you said chat makes a scary game a hundred times scarier. What's what, what's oh that all goodness. about? The sound alerts. Oh, all the sound alerts. Every time. Like, when, whenever, like, something's about to happen, chat would just redeem, like, uh, a screaming sound alert. And I just get I just get scared. And then next thing you know, another jump scare happens. And I'm like, chat, you're just... Why are you making this so much harder than it is? Like, I'm already scared. You're making it worse. <laughs> <laughs> right. It's fun. Uh, on top of that, of course, you know, we have your streams, but I know this is kind of something I was wanting to talk with about with the others, but we also have you out there on other platforms. I know on TikTok alone, you have millions of likes, right? Um, yeah. Any impressions of uh, what you think about TikTok or other platforms outside of Twitch? Like what I think about it? Yeah, I mean, what's your experience been? Any recommendations? I mean, TikTok is... Is a, is a good platform for like content creators, you know, to like get yourself out there. Um, a lot of my viewers definitely came from TikTok as well, but uh, TikTok can also, you know, <laughs> ruin your sleep schedule at night. <laughs> but yeah, other than that, uh, if you're a, like a upcoming content creator, uh, I would recommend using TikTok and other social media platforms as well. So it's really good. So, of course, we talked about artwork, and, uh, you know, sometimes you'll get some fan artwork, but I think also, you know, it's nice to get artwork of yourself. Uh, you said you believe that VTubers are secretly rich. They are secretly rich based on the amount of artwork they buy. <laughs> uh, uh, okay, so I looked at the comments and stuff, uh, and people were, like, talking about, uh, you know, financial decisions. So, like, we make poor financial decisions, which is <laughs> <true>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh -uh. but uh yeah i've seen a lot of my friends just constantly posting art and i'm like that's insane like how do you have that much money to post art every day kind of thing like different types of art and oh my goodness so i just tweeted that out and then the comments just went like oh no we just make poor financial decisions i'm like 
you know, negative on my back bank account. Uh, so, and yeah. So we have 22, you know, we have 2022 behind us. 2023, what's in store here? Ooh, uh, I have my new song. My new song just finished. Um, I just got to get the uh, the artwork in and set a date to release it. But yeah, I'm starting to make music, so it's going to be great. And my 3D uh, model debut, I'm also going to plan what day I'm going to debut as well. I also have a 3.0 with, uh, with a new design for this particular model. And yeah, so it's going to be a lot in stores. Anything you can say about the song? Like, what can we expect? Uh, I don't really want to spoil too much about it, but it's a it's a song that means a lot to me. Hmm, 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 hmm. Have you made yeah. songs in the past? No. Well, actually, yeah, I only made one song last year, which was my first ever song. So this is like my second one, and I like to make music now because it's fun. On top of that, of course, uh, we have a game show. Yeah, it sounds like you're uh, kind of building up a game show here, right? Yes, I am. What? And uh, would you like to? Would you like me to explain what it is? No, no. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay, 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 okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so the game show is called uh, Top, which is Truth or Punished, and I have two contestants or two streamers, and we would like research about them. And it, these questions are like pretty insane. So you would have to answer it, or we have like this thing called like the punishing wheel. And if you don't answer the question, they would have to spin the wheel and they would have to do the punishment on stream. And yeah, it's it's gonna it's a great, it's a great show. Uh, on top of that, of course, you've been out here in Los Angeles with us. I saw that you were mentioning you went to a gym and something was oh. very surprising to you at this gym. Something, something oh. very particular, really. Uh, well, yeah, this gym, oh my gosh. So, like, I went to work out with my friend, and it's like a $200 per month. Everybody there looks like a supermodel. <laughs> I felt so out of place. Like, I didn't know what to do, and it was just crazy. There was, like, people in suits as well. So, uh, <laughs> people, people at that gym were, like, built different, so I don't know. But it was nice, but... It was crazy. It was, I was. I felt so weird. You were like, I look like a homeless dude in, <laughs> yeah, in a gym yeah. Yeah, of all places. There was one guy that looks like Harry Styles from One Direction, and I was just like staring at him because my guy looked majestic. <laughs> he he looked beautiful. Uh, we had to do some uh, meet and greets here. Um, I know that had a little bit of technical problems, but you did. You met up uh, with some folks. Did you recognize anybody at all? Or uh, yeah, I did. I did. I recognized them. Um, some of them went to TwitchCon, so I saw them in person. Ah, uh, I think some of them were even uh, VTubers, right? Yes, yes. Some of them were also VTubers too. So you know, coming up, 2023, more traveling. I'm not sure. If it's going to be more traveling than 2020. Yeah, yeah, there was so much this year, dude. Yeah, <laughs> so maybe I'm probably going to travel to, like, some other cons because, like, being at a convention, it's nice, you know, for the first time. So I really want to experience more. Uh, yeah, a little bit more. Also, I know you're uh, missing your own community a little bit right now, yeah. too. Um, anything you'd like to say about them? I miss you guys. I will definitely be back. And we have a lot coming soon a lot uh then of course we have uh you know uh the uh, other kind of basic things here or, i mean has there been any challenges being a vtuber right you, you've done the face cam stuff but what about being a vtuber uh i would say the challenges of being a vtuber is definitely how it, it's kind of expensive it's definitely an expensive hobby so that would say that would be the challenge uh, for me personally, as a VTuber, it's just money-wise, so. That, and we're not really good with money, so. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> really money. Pretty much, yeah. I met a lot of cool people, amazing people. Uh, and then uh, lastly, was there anything you'd like to say to Los Angeles? Los Angeles, you're amazing. You have so many good food and a lot of nice attractions. And everybody here looks just majestic, so stay awesome. Keep doing you. All right, Doggy, thank you so much. Um, it's going to be working for you. And now we're going to bring on our, our last guest. If you could go ahead and pull out Numi for us. The true bottom. All right. <laughs> Tell her to run, come on in. That would be All right. appreciated. Thank you. Thank you. Goodbye, everyone. Bye.
All right, folks, it is the last guest uh, for this morning. It is the one, the only, the Tibebe, the new me. Uh, once again, we're going to have her uh, pop in here for half a second. But once again, I just wanted to say thank you to everyone here in Anime Los Angeles. You've all been crazy kind. It's been a great, great time here. Uh, and uh, couldn't have uh, a better, better host for us here. All right. Here she is. Oh. <laughs> hey, Nimi, how are you? Hi. How are you doing? Uh, it's been real. It's been real. It's been an experience, right? Like, it's been uh, a big, big, big surprise for us here in Los Angeles. What are you, what are you thinking of Los Angeles? Um, you know, it was raining, and I couldn't see the road. And then I was like... Wow, how am I gonna drive in a straight line if I can't see? But I live. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great time. I love it here. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> what about anime Los, Los Angeles? I mean, what do you think of the convention? Bro, I, I feel like even though we've been here for hours and hours at the convention, I haven't looked at, like, anything. And, and, and like, I want to look more. And then... I feel like I'm not going to get to... I'm, I'm going to miss the one thing I really want more than anything. I don't know, man. Were you getting a bunch of figurines and stuff? I feel like I spent so much on Hololive Gotcha. It was just like sticker, 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 stickers for me, right? Like, I was like eyeballing all the VTuber stuff, which there's a lot of out there. And I even yeah. saw there was some for you, too. I, I tried to buy everything that I saw. And uh, anything particular that you uh, picked up that you were very, uh, very proud of? Uh, I liked all of the stickers that people made of me. I, I've, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it was like always a silly little goal that I had with me and my like, my mods and stuff. I'm like, oh, he'll be so sick if at a convention people had merch of me or something so I could like support them and then give it to my dad. And then there was more than one booth that had our, my, our merch, like just a handmade merch that they had created. And I was like, whoa, that's insane. And then I bought it all. There is a lot of big surprises here at Anime Los Angeles, but actually that. That's a question. I mean, do you watch anime? I do. I really do like anime. I love it. It's fantastic. Name one anime. Um, one of my favorites that I'm watching right now is Bochi the Rock. I haven't finished oh, yeah. it yet because I don't know. I'm trying to take my time. I, I, I really just want to let it simmer down inside my core. But it's really good. Is that a uh, very slice of life? Is that uh, a little bit of... I mean... I guess you would consider it a slice of life, although there's a little bit of story. Like they have, a, they have dreams and aspirations, and they're like working towards something. But it's like, it's really good. I don't know, cause it, it, they're like a band, and I I make music, and so I felt like I could uh, relate, especially with the stage fright part. Yeah. I have stage fright. No, no, you don't. No, <laughs> with singing and music, yeah, man. Okay, I mean, okay. I can talk, but like with singing, I'm like, yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, let's talk about that. I mean, you're out there on Spotify. You've had albums. Uh, what's the plan? What's what's you know the plan music wise going forward? What what's going on next? Mm hmm. Well, uh, I have a cover coming out soon, which is always so fun. What well, it's another. So, for people who know me, they usually have been introduced to me by Sussy Clips or for my music, specifically my wholesome covers. <laughs> I'm sorry. I got, I got another one of those coming. Uh, so, we, we have a lot of appropriate music out there. Yeah, nice, nice, nice. Yeah, it's very wholesome. This one has a lot of VTubers in it, so it's really exciting. Ooh, all right. Yeah, a lot of special guests. You got my interest. Thank you, thank you. All right, let's go ahead and move on to some of the questions that the folks that were joining the booth uh, had here for you. As a matter of fact, you were you were at the booth, right? Yeah, I, I was at the booth, like, a bunch. And, and I did a meet and greet there twice yesterday. Uh, once again, the Castle Crate booth, uh, we had uh, Numi out there. And uh, quite quite a showing, but we had some questions uh, the first question, favorite fruit. What's your favorite fruit, Numi? Um, it, did they also write the reason why they're asking me that? No, 
No, that was it. That was the question. Favorite Are we fruit. The ones that pick these questions. Answer the question, Numi. Did, did you did you pick these or like I? I mean, I'm not even asking what you're doing with the fruit. I'm just asking what's your I favorite fruit. I asked you to ask about that. I, it's quite interesting that that's the next thing you wanted to bring up. It's the very first question. Do I have to answer the question? So let's talk about plums. Let's talk about plums. <laughs> <laughs> that I didn't even say that and, and then that's exactly what you decided to lead the conversation into almost as if you were setting this up you know I've uh, heard you kiss them is that uh, is that hey, true you know what's kind of funny on, on on the ALA website for some reason yeah, <laughs> yeah. Do, you, do you have did you have anything to do with that no no not me no <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's talk about maybe not plums. Uh, well, how about pickles? Oh, I don't like those. The question actually was, why do you like pickles so much? <laughs> why do you like pickles so much? Who, who is asking these questions? Uh, <laughs> these are the wonderful folks that were, you know, meet, meet, meeting and greeting you yesterday. They know you the best. Better uh, than me. I... I, 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 I don't like pickles. <laughs> I, I, I like um, mangoes. Oh. Mm. All right, let's go on to some more general questions here. Uh, <laughs> what are these questions, bro? <laughs> no, th th this next one's pretty normal. Uh, what inspired your latest album? Your latest album? Um, well, the album's called Winter Blooms. And... I don't know, uh, my album before that had, I wouldn't say more uplifting vibes, but the songs were a lot more, like in the last album were a lot more emotional mm -hmm. because uh, during the winter season, I tend to be a lot more in my feels, emotional. And uh, usually I would just sit in my bed and cry or something, but this time I was like, I'm gonna turn it into a song. And so then I did that like eight times been great that makes an that's album like one of my favorite things so that i've created so far so that, that that's really good uh let's see here the next question was just cat ears it's just cat ears question mark did you also choose this one i mean it's just the general questions that i was given these are just again questions from those that were meeting and greeting you your fans knew me the people that know you the best Sometimes I feel like you're just targeting me. I don't really understand why you think that. What's... Oh. Well, you, you did post on Twitter about um, me being a bottom or something. No, I said it's quite the opposite of that. But, I mean, you, brought up, you just brought it up, so let's ask about that. Um, oh, yeah, when I beat you? <laughs> uh, well, actually, the next question is, is, why are you so tall when you're standing, but still the biggest bottom? Oh, that's actually really crazy and, and just like not true or whatever but um yeah i'm pretty tall as you can see i'm a lot taller than false um he has to wear stilettos anytime he's near me because i'm so tall and intimidating so yeah i just mm. and of course our last question that was given to us was is it hard to be wholesome 24 7 on all your streams I mean, it's just so easy for me, actually. Uh -huh. um, my, my streams tend to be a lot more on the wholesome side. Um, I really like to connect with my community. We talk about, like, jigsaw puzzles, what I'm going to eat for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, mm -hmm. you know, walks in the park, and a lot of just, you know, wholesome things that you talk to your grandma about. I, I make family-friendly music, family-friendly vibes. There is nothing in this world that is more wholesome than Akuma Nimune. You know, I, I couldn't help but notice uh, some of your other IRL appearances. You're stepping on people. There's oh, who said that? No, no. I mean, there's just straight up pictures of you stepping on people. Are you, are you sure that was me? Mm, yes. Yeah. I mean, it's labeled as you and then has your at on it and... 
Yeah, so anyways, I take wholesome pictures with my fans. Um, I'll do whatever it takes to make them happy. Uh, maybe that person just tripped and then I tried to help Oh, them, of I course. Stepped on them. Yeah. Of course, of course. That happens all the time. I, it's, <laughs> I'm just so clumsy. Uh, so, you know, you have been doing a lot of traveling the past year. Uh, some of that has been even involved in an incident where uh, you and some other VTuber friends just got into a random car thinking it was an Uber. Yeah, Yuzu and I. So I, I, I think I've gotten into the wrong car <laughs> a lot of times, which I don't know if that's a good or bad thing, but uh, I happened to be doing that at TwitchCon. I was going with Yuzu to the convention, and then we, we weren't even thinking about it because the car pulled up. It was the same general car and then we got inside and then this man's looking at me with the most scared look on his face and i was like oh <laughs> this, is, this is our uber yuzu uh you oh, oh 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 and then we had to run out and then she screamed she's like oh my god oh my god oh. And, and then we went into a different car that happened to be our uber but you know that they, they could have could have been really bad but it wasn't and we live that's my philosophy Woo. as long as you live goodbye uh, we have here, here another instance of uh, you being a fan of some anime. Uh, one of my favorite Yuri mangas that I've been reading since 2019 just ended. I'm so distraught. Uh, I mean... I, oh, uh, now you're bringing up... Uh, yeah, I mean, this is just... Thing. Well, this is just something that you mentioned. I mean, you didn't mention the Yuri manga, but you're welcome to if you'd like. You'd like if you'd like to take a moment to. This is called "Get to Fight the Lonely Girl," and it, it was one of my comfort Yuri manga where they just they're literally just having a good time together. I mean, the first couple chapters it was like oh drama, but I mean, it was inevitable that they'd be a cute little couple, and then and, and then they become one, and then they're just they're just being cute together, and I'm like, oh my god. Time to read my cute little favorite, cute little comfy Yuri manga. And then they're like, yeah, it's over. And then I started to cry. It was like three in the morning and I was really sad. So we have you here with your 3.0 uh, model here. It's, that was an event, right? I mean, that was big. That was uh, oh, yeah. new. I released my new model and my album on this, in this like same weekend. That was a 48 hour subathon. Um, I mean, it did go as planned. Was it bigger than you expected? It was a lot bigger than I expected, which I, you know, I, I didn't really even make an announcement until like two days before because I, I was really nervous. And then I made the post and then it, it, it got around. I think it was because of the specific body part video I showed my lungs. Again, very my healthy lungs, very wholesome streams. Yes, yes. Yes, because I, I want to promote breathing. And uh, the other thing that you promote, of course, is uh, VTuber friends. You are friends with like a million VTubers. Uh, yeah, it, I don't know how I got here. I used to be too scared to even speak to other VTubers. And out of nowhere, I just started, you know, kind of reaching out a little more as I became more comfortable. And... Now I just have a bunch of friends and I'm really happy. A lot of them like grew with me, which was, it felt like a blessing in disguise. You know, it's one thing to grow, but to grow with the people that you care about the most was like insane to me. And I think the coolest thing is like, when I was meeting people at the meet and greets, they were saying that they love my whole friend group. And that just makes me so happy. And I need to sneeze. <laughs> Please uh, take your time sneezing. It's not coming out. Never mind. Just continue. It's okay. I hope I don't disturb you if I accidentally sneeze. I'm so sorry. I, I want to know about this because this has been already a, a wild year for you. Uh, apparently, there was a bit of a ski resort trip uh, oh God. <laughs> that you were a part of uh, just earlier. Uh, and you were stuck on a mountain. What happened? Oh, okay. So... I decided to go skiing with one of my VTuber friends named Hami and my mom. And we wanted to go drive up the mountain. And then I realized that you should never, ever, ever go to the mountains right after New Year's Day because um, it's hecka busy. And we were driving and we were supposed to get there in an hour and a half usually, but it ended up taking like eight hours and we were just stuck on this mountain for so long. But then we had some Mexican food to eat and then we didn't even end up getting to the mountain. <laughs> 
until like 7 30 p.m and we left at 10 30 a.m well i was like mom i'm gonna be honest with you i'm about to just jump out of this car and walk to the mountain myself and we did and then that's right around the time where the blizzard started <laughs> and so we're just walking for half a mile to get up to this mountain and we're almost blowing away but while that was happening i was like oh my god this reminds me of the spongebob episode with the crusty crab pizza and so then we're walking i'm like rusty crab yeah yeah and then, and, and then it helped us get over there and then i skied and i didn't fall once although my friend blew down the hill like 20 times it wasn't me though so that's fine i could just point and laugh then the power went out and that was crazy but we lived uh she is a survivor folks uh once again this is uh akanumi uh numi uh new year new numi uh what's the plans coming up for the year god i i, I have like a good half of the year planned out already I can't say everything, but I'm going to be traveling a lot more to meet everybody, which is one of my main goals. Uh, I don't know. I, I just like meeting everyone. Also, I have a 3D debut coming up. My two-year anniversary streaming is next month, which is really crazy to think about. And uh, a lot of new music. And uh, lastly, anything to say to Los Angeles? I love your food here. It's really good. I like Korean barbecue and good vibes. So thank you for bringing me all of that. I love it here. Yeah! <laughs> Nubia, thank you so much. It's been real. Uh, all right, folks. Uh, we can keep going. Uh, it is our time. Our time is up. It is, it is over with. Do I leave? Done and over. Uh, we can go, we go and call it, but thank you, everyone, uh, for your generous, generous welcome here from Anime Los Angeles. Once again, we'll have more things VTuber say for you coming up this year. Uh, and again, thank you, Numi. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Caso Create, for the. Oh! Uh, thank you very much for the hosting here. And again, I uh, hope you guys have a great, great convention and uh, into your uh, little trip here. Thank you very much, everybody.